Assalamu alaikum teacher. My name is Muhammad Yusuf. I am from grade 7B. Today I will introduce the grammar presentation and I am from Success International School. Nouns. What is a noun? A noun is a word that names something, such as a person, place, thing, or idea in a sentence. Nouns can play the role of subject, direct object, indirect object, subject, complement, obje complement, object, complement, appositive, or adjective. Types of noun is nouns form a large proportion of English vocabulary and they come in a wide variety of types. Nouns can name a person, for example, Albert Einstein, the president, my mother, and the girl. Examples about nouns. Nouns can also name a place, for example, Mount Visbus, Disney, Disneyland, and my bedroom. Nouns can also name things, although sometimes they might be intrigable things, such as concept, activities, or process. Some might even be high potential or imaginary things, for example, Shoe, facet, freedom, the leader, the elder wand, and basketball. Proper noun vs common noun. One important distinction to be made in whether a noun is a proper noun or a common noun. A proper noun is a specific name of a person, place, or thing and is always capitalized. For example, does Tina have much homework to do evening? Tina is the name of a specific person. It's a proper noun. Example of proper nouns. For example, I would like to visit Old Faithful. Old Faithful is the specific name of the geological phantom. The object of the proper noun is a common noun. Sometimes, no at the generic nouns. A common noun is a generic noun of items in a class or group and is not capitalized unless appearing at the beginning of the sentence or in a title. Types of common nouns. Common or generic nouns can be broken down into three subtypes. Concrete nouns, abstract noun, and collective noun. A concrete noun is something that perceived by the, the sense, something that is physical or real. For example, I heard the doorbell, and my bed keyboard is a sticky. Doorbell and keyboard are real things that can be sensed. Conversely, an abstract noun is something that cannot be perceived by the sense. Nouns, a subject. Every, every sentence must have a subject and that subject will always be a noun. The subject of a sentence is a person, place, or thing that is doing or being the verb in the sentence. For example, Maria is happy. Maria is a subject of the of this sentence and the corresponding verb is is a form to be is. Nouns in object. Nouns can also be object of verb in sentence. An object can be either a direct object, a noun that receives the action performed by the subject, or an indirect object, a noun that is present of the direct object. Example, give the book to her. Book is a direct object. What is being given and here is the indirect object. Who the books are being given to? Thank you for watching my presentation. Bye bye. Let's go!